<clears throat> All right, Tom. Shalom. I want to start by saying Brock the Hole, Brock the Hole Shah, Brock the Hole, Brock the Hole Shah, Brock the Hole, Brock the Hole Shah. Call all your hoe, Bashan, Yahusha, Bashan, Rika, Kodash, double honest apostle, Elder Great Billstone, starting with uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, ruling on, um, on down, who teach, preach, Yahusha, and the gospel. Uh, all you I came the four corners of the earth, preach, teaching um, this gospel, the truth, um, to the four corners of the earth. All you um, Aqua, listen and learn, Shalom. All right, um, Apostle Tahar did this video <clears throat> um, about this Jake. Jake Chick that got on uh, to these Edomites on this uh, panel. All right, her name is uh, Nina, uh, 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 Nina something. But uh, anyway, what you can see if uh, Nina Turner, Nina Turner got onto those uh, <clears throat> to these Edomite Jakes. She done this a few times. She had a couple panels where she where this Jake Chick she got on um, Esau. Um, you know about their bullshit. Called them out on their um, hate for. Uh, that they have uh, for Jake. So, but well, Pastor Hart went into the video. He didn't play the video. So I just picked up on I just said, fuck it, I'm going to just play the video because I take that chance. You know, I'm not a big uh, YSO. It's not a um, all slack at all. I'm Yaqua from YSO. Um, <clears throat> we're not a very big format. So, you know, a lot of things we say or do get swept up under the rug. Most people don't see or hear it. So I'm going to bring the shit out. All right. <clears throat> you know, Pastor Hart got a huge format, and, you know. I understand you don't want no strikes and all that shit. So, you know, I'm going to see if I can't slip it, slip it up under the rug. You know, maybe, you know, a little wire soaking, get in there and throw something down. All right, but anyway, I'm going to start with this first scripture here, though. All right, it's my first scripture before I play the video. Uh, this is Proverbs uh, 10 and 6. Blessings are upon the head of the just, and the just is us, is the Israelites. Those chiefly the 144,000. And when we get um, to the kingdom, all Israel is going to be just. All right. So blessings are upon this is Proverbs 10 and 6. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. That's right. Esau, your whole name, your whole foundation, everything about you going to rot until there's nothing left. You know, think about a rotten tooth or a rotten egg. It's a rotten sport milk. You know, it's foul. You don't want to. It's the most disgusting and shit. Your whole, your whole, everything about you is chunk. You know, your whole style is chunk. You know, you just going to rot away. You know, until so, there's none of you left. You know, you, you're just going to be the most vile. You're already the most vile, as funky, as nasty as being upon the earth. All right. I'm going to grab one more scripture. Then I'm going to play the uh, video. All right. Hopefully my computer moving fast enough. And, you know, I had it on for a while. I always want to act funky when I, you know, uh, computer always works fast enough. So, brother, bear with me. All right. This is uh, Obadiah chapter one. I'm going to eat through all of Obadiah because it's heavy. All right. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai concerning Edom. Okay, that's the whole nation. Okay. We have heard a rumor. From the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, and an ambassador is set among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. That's right, because most of these nations hate Esau, man. They can't stand Babylon. They can't stand the Edomites, man. They just deal with them, go along with them because they're the power right now. Because they they are they they're pretty much in uh the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. All right, Job 9, 24, the Lord gave the wicked the power. Esau, Edom has the power now, and everybody's just kind of just going along with their bullshit. Don't mean just because somebody go along with you don't mean they like you. They're just going along with your shit because you're the power. All right. The pride of thine heart deceive thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that sitteth in his heart, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Kind. And that's hey, that's Esau eat them all day long. You know, they're haughty, they're stiff neck, you know what I mean? Uh, Jake is along those lines too, but they are pride for as hell. 
All right, Esau Edom is very prideful as is is fuck. They build high, they build class of a rock, go back to Petra. They still build the same way today. The White House from the uh, Capitol buildings, you go back to Petra, look the same way with the what? With the eagle. And who's who got the eagle soaring on, on, on uh, uh, is as their symbol. All right. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. There you go. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Why wow, the eagle is, is very proud. Chest high, head high. Nobody can bring me down. You know, there's no bird that can fly higher than the eagle. You know, he sees everything is beneath him. All right, he's the highest soaring flying uh, uh, fowl of the air. All right, so he's prideful as fuck. All right, thou, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, you know who you are. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, always up in the air, trying to go up into the uh, outer space, this will I bring thee down, saith the Lord Power Yahweh. If these came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would, thou, would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? And that's right, because Esau, he robbing, stealing, and keep just burying everything in his belly. You know, Esau don't leave nothing for nobody else, man. He picks up every little bitty crumb. He rips, strips the whole tree, man. You know? Uh, and this is how his things is being sought up, man, through what? Through the man of the Lord, the elect, the hopeful elect, the man that's hoping that we are the elect. You know, praying for a spot to be to be the elect. All right? Verse 7. All the men of thy confederacy have bought thee even to the border. And that confederacy is they've been joined in together in an agreement. All right? Bought to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Look at Iran. Look at Iraq and all this Syria. You know, um, all these um, countries is going to go to war, war with America, man. They're already, they already locked, loaded, and ready. They're already saying that they already believe Iran already got the missile. You know, they they, they saying Iran is a couple weeks away. But if they say that if Iran is a couple weeks away from having a nuclear weapon, you can pretty much guarantee they got the fucking nuclear weapon. You know, and that's what they was trying to stop them from having. But Iran is already on top of it. Why? Really, it's the Lord. It's your how about Shima Shai that's doing it. You know, the, the missiles, is, he's going to guide them. That's his, that's his weaponry. That's his armory. All right. This is a Ob Obadiah uh, chapter one, verse seven. Well, you know, it's only one chapter. Uh, verse seven, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Hey, look at North Korea, all these different places, man. They don't really fuck with America. They can't fucking stand America, but they just go along with America and uh, prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Like you saw, you don't get it. Shall I not? Shall I not in that day say if the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understand it out of the Mount of Esau? Okay, that's your whole nation. Talking about the whole nation, every man, woman, and child. All the whole nation. There, there is no saving. Okay. And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed. That's just another name for Esau Edom. To, to the end, to every one of them, Mount of e Salakia. To the end that every one of the Mount of Esau, every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. That's how Bashim al Shai tells you this. This is God who loves everybody, who want to uh, hold and love all people. All men are welcome in the kingdom. And he's going to bring peace to the whole world. And, you got to understand these prophecies are about to happen. These prophecies are about to come. This is prophecy. And this prophecy is about to come to pass after the ship get rolled out. And the Valley of Jehoshaphat kick off. This, this is the prophecy that is coming to you. Okay. Obadiah had a heavy, heavy ass prophecy. A short book, but it was super ass. About the heaviest prophecy about Esau in here. All right. I'm going to read that again. <clears throat> Verse 8, Lord says, shall I not in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? Verse 9, and thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau 
may be cut off by slaughter. Okay. For why? For thy violence against thy brother, Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shall be cut off forever. Okay. Who's your brother? Is is Jacob? Is is so-called Negroes, Latino Native Americans, man. All right, you slandered your brother's uh children. You you know Jacob said that uh, uh back in Genesis, you know, when my father died, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill my brother. You know? You but you did it. He didn't do it, but his seed did it. It went back, it went down to his seed line, and you're his seed line. That's why you're red, you're not white. You're red, you're pink. Okay. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captives, his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even because Jerusalem is a people before there's a place, even even though even thou was as one of them. That's right. He was one of them. What? Taking captives, carrying them off, stealing our shit out of our land, taking our scriptures, doing all kind of shit, you know, right along. Hey, right along with him. Well, right along with the rest of the nations that was that was there. E e uh, uh, Elam, uh, uh, Ishmael, building the ships for us to go into slavery. Okay, but thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother, in the day that he became a stranger. Because you know, right now we are a stranger. Okay, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah. In the day of their destruction, when you say Judah, that's Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the day of their destruction. Okay, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress, right? You're like you're always speaking proud. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're out now. Yeah, yeah, y'all fucking niggers, y'all fucking niggers. We hate you niggers. Your niggers ain't chat. You know, thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Okay? Neither shouldest thou have stood in a crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. So it's something that got away, but you caught them. You, 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 you uh, turned them over. You turned them in. You searched them out. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. Okay. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh is near upon all the heathen, all the heathen. Why? Because all the heathen had a hand in our, in our capture, in our captivity. Okay. Uh, Psalms 83rd chapter. Okay. They, they, they have had a confederacy against us. All right. For, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Okay. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. Now go back to uh, when you start thinking about Isaiah, the 40 chapter, 2nd Ezra uh, 6 and 56. Okay. For as ye have drunken upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon my, Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there should be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Okay. All right. So, hey, so with that said, oh no, you know, let me just finish off a little bit more of this. Um, uh, but upon my Zion shall be the de be deliverance, and there should be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph, a flame. When they see Joseph, they're talking about Ephraim and Manasseh and the northern tribes. Uh, the house of Joseph should be a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. Okay, it's going to burn that ass up. And they shall kindle 
in them and devour them. And there should not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it. All right, that's clear as day, man. Clear as day. All right, the Lord is going to get rid of your fucking ass for all the transgressions that we just read of that you just did to the Israelites, man. All through history. All right. All through history, you you put on uh, uh, grievous strokes, strokes of pain, strokes of hell upon our people still to this day. All right. You catch us, kill us in the streets. No consequences, man. You're not just like other men are. You know, you, you don't you, you do what you want, you know, but the day is coming when the Lord is coming back and he's taking vengeance for his people upon you. Like you said, you're going to put it upon your own head. Okay. For thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall be on thy own head. Okay. All right. So uh, now let me, uh, let me play this uh, quick video. Right quick, it was a scripture popped in my head, but it left my head because I, I said something else. I can't think of it. I got a lot of other scriptures to get to anyway. So, you know, hey, you know, it's, it's all good. I'm going to play this quick clip. You know, I hope I don't get a strike. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to put it out there. Because you said you were, you know, Trump is completely supportive of the way over here. Everybody's, a majority of people are in this 13 is the story. And then over here where a bunch of people wish that there kind of was no border and that there was a perfect system in which everyone could just come in and that there would be no uh, emotional or physical hardships. And that universe will never exist. Right. There will they, always be America that story that I mean, this country specializes in vilifying black and brown folks. Let's just be clear. The president picked that narrative about gang activity deliberately because he's picking that narrative to explain, uh, you know, our Hispanic, mainly Hispanic on the southern border, sisters and brothers. He doesn't use that same narrative with other immigrants in this country. Even when he made the shit whole country comment, he's talking about countries and nations of color. So let's not delude ourselves. This is a deliberate narrative that the president has used. It is a deliberate policy that his administration has put in place to dehumanize black and brown people in this country and it plays to a certain segment but, but, of this but, country but, listen i think this president this is the same president talking about that that had granted wanted to have a pathway for citizenship for two million illegals that, that president obama didn't offer i mean you know what that's, that's 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 all well and good so how is that a racist so what, policy? Is it, what is he doing that a racist what policy? is he doing right now the, the democrats rejected that out of hand forget the democrats the republicans are in control david no, but it, i'm saying he put forth a credible proposal we didn't do it with the republicans so he, did, it, he put forth the credible proposal i do no, i do look forward to the midterm pitch that uh the united states of america specializes in vilifying black and brown people i do not oh, think that they works do. for democrats they but do take it to the polls take no we will take it to the polls but the history of this country too how many examples would you like me to give you about you can, how this country is better than that? You know what? This is not a next great year. Show. It's 1619. Next year, 1919. Yep. It'll be 400 years since the first Africans were brought to this continent as slaves. So it's not a pitch, it's a reality in this country. And the fact that you're taking such a cavalier attitude about the suffering of black and brown people in this country is appalling. No, it's, it's, it's absolutely no, appalling. No, 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 Are you no, no, trying no, no, to say that this country does not specialize in racism and bigotry? No, I am no. saying that racism exists. I am saying exists. No, no, no. But, you, but, you, but, you, but you have the luxury. You have the luxury to be cavalier about it. But people, my folks don't have the luxury. I, I think the fact that you your point. point. I know you don't understand my point because you never lived the day in my shoes or the shoes of my ancestors. This is not a political picture. This is reality. What I'm being cavalier about is something I think we all agree about, which is that the United States of America is the freest country on the face of the earth and gives yeah, the with most all kinds of oppression. I know that, but gives the most opportunity possible. See, see, you're, you're, you're talking the about this thing. political. I'm not mean, talking about I this think the, saddest, thing. the saddest thing is that we have a president who plays on this division instead of trying to bring people. Oh, Joe, that's, wait, wait, it's like that is the that is, thing that in Casablanca, really? This president hasn't happened everywhere before. That's it. I just say this one's unconventional. Joe, you specialize in this stuff, buddy. You, you yes. run, you run race. What about it, man? No, You're you, right there. But you did it. You did it. No, this is no, a living. Really you spend for a living. Yeah, this is really messed up. This is not a spin. People yeah, lie about a lot. 
kids have been separated from their parents. Wait, this is not really the reason why this division at all. Never. This is oh, not. Yo, I'm not. I'm not. Listen, but, you, but for you to say, oh my God, God. Is the president is doing this. You, you do it for a career. He, he's doing it for a career too. But, but explain what you mean. What is it, Joe? Well, Joe, Joe's a political consultant. Joe runs races. races. Joe yeah. runs races. You've never run a negative ad against somebody. I thought you just talked about the Doug War race, the Doug Jones race. What happened there? Did you run any negative ads? Of course. Tons, right? So how is that? But what is how that have to do with the president of the United division. States, who is the president of the United States, not a political consultant, deciding to divide the American people along along deep-seated divisions that need so, to be healed and so brought listen, together. So I agree. Now, listen, so, so politics or race is terrible on both sides. I think it's Oh, thing. terrible. I think it's no. I think it's horrible. I think it's horrible. Yeah, they're for the Republicans. Good to do it. I don't want to I'm not saying that. I think it's not. I think it's terrible. I think it's terrible. What I'm saying is that we have become numb to some of the very real challenges in this country that are being exacerbated by this president. But he didn't. He didn't invent racism. I don't think not be the first one. I don't think that. But to have people who are not black and brown to be cavalier around this panel, I am highly offended. Okay, well, I am just highly offended by this. All I'm asking is that we don't make it only that. The United States no, of America is not, about, it's not, not just only about that, only that, only but that was like, part of it. That was on my we did, was, was this country, did this country enslave Africans? I did this country point. take away the land of the Native Americans? Did this point. country have Jim Crow and black codes? That's not in my imagination. No, it's and, not. And still, there are articles that are being written right now that still says that it will take about 228 years for the average African American to catch up with the wealth of the average white person in this country, and we all have to care about it. So it is race and it is class. But to say that the country, our country, the country America, was founded on racism and bigotry, David, but and it does. America specializes. Black in men are being shot. Not, by, oh my lord! Just say it specializes. It, it specializes in it. Strong feelings. Hey, that's it. Hey, that's, that's the truth, though. Hey, she told. Hey, those strong feelings, but what not? And she told the truth, you know. I oh, mean, I meant to stop it right at that spot, but she told the truth because, hey, because that's the truth. The truth is that America does it specializes in hate and bigotry. All right, America specializes. It it, it specializes in in racial uh, bigotry, hate, perpetual hatred for who? For the Israelites. All right, hold on. I'm I'm, a, I'm gonna stop it here at this one spot, right here. Okay. Cause that's being cavalier. When she called her cavalier, all right, Pastor Hart went into it. You know, like, oh well, who gives a fuck? Nonchalant. Like, hey, you know, it ain't a big deal. It is what it is. But we gave y'all President Obama. But we did, you know, we get, you know, but y'all got rights now. We can still do what we want. But we gonna give y'all rights so we can try to cover it up. Like she didn't really give a fuck. That smirk, that smile. She don't give a fuck about the plight of the so-called black man and woman. So you Israelites that that going to their militaries, you. you you uh you going to their governmental uh jobs and CNNs and all these different places, man. Hey, this is the shit you really got to deal with. This is what Esha show you that he's pure hate for you. He he hates you. He hates your fucking ass. And the so called white man, so called white woman, don't give a fuck about your plight. All right. So Esau don't give a fuck about what you got to go through. What you what you do, but yet you still got to suck his ass, kiss his ass, and 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 go and, and work for him at his establishment, smile in his face, and act like everything is all good. But when everybody knows it's really not. All this shit is fucked up. Everything is all bad. All right. So I'm gonna bring. I'm, which brings me to my other scriptures, and I'm gonna close this shit out. I might get a strike, but hey, fuck them. You know, I'm gonna fuck them. I'm, I'm bring it out on them. You know. All right. Uh, this is uh, this is songs. No, 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 no. I ain't going there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm not going there. Slocky, so slocky. This is uh, I want to go to uh, yeah, con. Let me go to Ezekiel right quick. All right, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 25. I'm going to eat on this for a minute. This is Ezekiel chapter 25 and 1. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Am. No, you know, yeah, yeah, come on. Set thy face against uh, the Amorites and prophesy against them. And say unto the Amorites, hear the words of the Lord, Yahweh, okay, the Ammonites, right? Because, hey, because really, because uh, Moab and Ammon, hey, they the heathen nations, and they they helped in our suffering. They didn't help us in our plight. They didn't do nothing to to uh, alleviate the hell that we go through. And hey, they got the black face out there in China and 
Japan, they do the blackface and shit. They laugh at us. They put the guy on a washing machine, uh, dark skin, uh, 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 Ammonite in the washing machine, and he come out looking like a so-called white man, you know, a so-called white Ammonite. <clears throat> so, hey, look, so, yeah, so they got to pay for their shit, too. Because thou said it's high against my sanctuary. Who's the sanctuary? The Israelites, 144,000. 144, when it was profane and against the land of Israel, when it was desolate and against the house of Judah, when they went into captivity. And that go back to Psalms, the 83rd chapter, man. All these other nations was confederate against Israel. Okay. And I read that. And I just read that. Uh, uh, I just read that uh, back in Obadiah as well. All right. All these other nations, the Lord said, hey, he going to bring down all this shit on all the heathen, man. Okay. So Ammon, Moab, Ishmael, uh, Elam, and all the rest of the nations, man. Uh, uh, the Canaanites, Cush, all of them, man. All the nations got to pay for the shit that they've done to us, man. And, and the ones that just sat there and watched and let it happen. And, and, and they still they still just laugh about it. And they don't give a fuck. And they, they join in on to it. So they all got to pay for it, all right? Uh, verse four, behold, therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east for a possession, and they shall set their places in thee and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruit and they shall drink thy milk. And because you really think about it, Esau is all up in their shit, man. Because when you think about it, uh, uh, there's a lot of other countries, men of other countries, man, they be in there taking their women, sexing with their women. They use them for child pornography, child prostitute. They do all kind of shit to, uh, to uh, uh, Ammon and Mo, uh, 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 Moab and Ammon, uh, women and different shit, man. They, hey, man, they make a lot of money off of them too, man. So they, they be all up in their shit, okay? And I will make um, Rehabah a stable for camels and the Ammonites a, uh, a coughing place for flocks. And ye shall know that I am the power, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushah, okay? For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, because thou hast clapped thine hands and stomped thy feet and rejoiced in heart with all thy despite against the land of Israel. And we know that Israel is a people before it's a place. Yashallah, the 144,000, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, uh, on down, okay, to the southern tribe, to from the southern tribe to the northern tribe, okay, from Ephraim, Manasseh, on down, all right, down to Issachar. Okay, so so they so they uh, 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 clapped their hands. They was, they was so fucking ecstatic. For the fall of Israel, man. All right, and read that again. Ezekiel 25 and 6. For thus saith the Lord power of Yahweh, because thou hast clapped thine hands and stumped thy feet and rejoiced in heart in their mind with all thy despite against the land of Israel. Behold, therefore, I will stretch out my hand upon thee and will deliver thee for a spoil to the heathen, and I will cut thee off from the people, and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee, and thou shall know that I am the Lord Power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. <clears throat> and that was the Ammonites, which is uh the, the Japanese, and I'm a this is uh the one that hit uh Moab. Okay. Uh verse 28. Thus said the Lord Power Yahweh, because that Moab and um Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from his cities, which are on his front, um, which are on his frontiers, the glory of the country, uh, Beth, Beth Jesmoth, Beth Jesmoth, Balaman and uh, Kirithah, saying I'm wrong, but, you know, I'm going to keep it moving, unto the men of the east. With the Ammonites, which is uh, Moab and Ammon, that's Lot's uh, Lot see with that he had with his daughters. That's why they got those slanted, fucked up eyes, them gooks. All right, and will give them a in possession that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nation. Okay, and I will execute judgment upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord Power Yahweh. Okay. Verse 12, now here come Esau, Edom. Thus saith the Lord Paul, Yahweh, because that Edom has dwelt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Paul, Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom 
Okay, that's the whole, that's all of them, the whole nation. And will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from teeming. And they of the dead shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. Okay, so the Lord is going to make us his battle axe and weapon of war. Okay, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power, Yahweh Bashim al And that's why Esau, Edom try to one, they try to, they women want to be with us. Uh, uh, they try to smooth in with us. They try to get, some of them try to get nice with us. And then the other ones that's in fear, they try to, <clears throat> they try to fuck us over heavy. They still trying to kill us off. So you got a part of Edom that's trying to trying to uh, 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 be brought up under us, and the other half still hate us. As they what well, they both hate us. It's just the other one is just trying to do it in a slick manner, and the other one is doing it right out, just like fuck y'all. We still trying to kill y'all off. We don't, you know, because because they know at the the end game is your how about Shemal Shai is coming to slaughter their ass. They gonna have to pay for the hell that they put upon this earth, man. All right, and I, that's uh, what's that uh, numbers? I think it's numbers thirty. Is it uh, numbers thirty three and um, thirty three and fourteen or something like that, where it says uh, 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 uh for the cleansing of a of, of a city, it can't be cleansed but by the blood of the one who shed it. And and in America, it has nothing but bloodshed upon the whole face of the earth, but chiefly here in America, man, the the bloodshed of the so called Negro, Latino, Native Americans has been shed to a heavy. You talking about hundreds of millions of 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 uh, uh, so-called Negroes that were sent over here in slaves, uh, slave ships all over the or all over the four corners of the world. But the murder rate was hundreds of millions of them before they even got to the lands they was going to. OK, so the bloodshed is heavy. And then not only put the account in what they've done to all the Gadites and Reubenites and, and, and Manasseh and Ephraim and all the tribes, the murdering. Of Esau, and even back when we was in Europe, you got to can't remember what uh 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 what them devils did uh when King James was going out in power. Um, uh, what's uh, Al uh Oliver Cromwell? You can't forget about what he did in that time. So it's a whole lot of blood upon the face of this earth from even from then and all the way still to this day to now, man. The bloodshed of the Lord's people has been heavy upon this earth, and Esau Edom has put that bloodshed upon the earth, man. You know, there ain't been a black man on this earth that has killed more people, more more so-called Negroes than the so-called white man all through history has done to our people. OK. OK, now this is a uh, all right. This is um. let me go here. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let me get a uh, let me get a. Uh, let me get Deuteronomy. Uh, seven and slot you bear with me. Seven and twelve. Seven and um, no, I'm sorry, seven eleven. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them. Verse twelve. Wherefore it shall come to pass. If ye hearken to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord thy power, Yahweh, shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swore unto thy fathers. And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb and the fruit of thy land, thy corn and thy wine and thine oil, the increase of thy kind and and flocks of thy sheep in the land which he swore unto thy fathers to give thee. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There should not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest. Okay. Upon thee, the Lord was not going to put those uh, uh, evil diseases of Egypt that upon us, man. 
And right now, Egypt is going through those evil diseases. They're going to get the coronavirus, they're getting all these different things going on in America. And it's going to be many, many plagues and pestilence that's going to hit this motherfucker. It ain't. And it's, this is just the beginning. This is just just the crack. The motherfucker chart just hitting. All right. Once again, and this is uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 15. Um, Salaki. Yeah, 7 and 15. And the Lord that power Yahweh will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all, uh, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. Okay. Okay. And thou shalt consume all the people which thy Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall deliver thee. Thine eyes shall have no pity. Upon them, neither shall thou serve their gods, for that will be a snare unto thee. All right, so that's it, man. So once the Lord, how about Shemel Shai, come back and start putting that whoop ass on? And we, and, and it's, uh, what's that? Um, I have had uh, um, 7,000 men that have not bowed a uh, knee to bow, and we're not bowing a knee to this devil, man. That's it, man. You know, there could be 144,000 men of the Lord that is not going to bow the knee to bow, man. We're not going, we're not giving this devil. No, just do shit, man. We gonna we gonna stand uh, 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 strong and boldly, man. You know, right in the face of oppression, man. You know, and we gonna hey, we gonna we gonna put we gonna uh, do as we doing now, man. We gonna let this devil know what you. This is your fate, Esau, Edom. This is what you got coming, man. You know, you thought everything was all good, man. You thought every because just because everything was quiet. That's Psalms fifty chapter fifty and like twenty. You know, the Lord said, hey, just because you thought uh, the Lord didn't say nothing, this was all good. You know, he he ain't because he ain't came back and did no movement yet. So you don't think, but the Lord is doing all this thing. Everything is being ran through Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. Okay, so hey, so all this shit is gonna be hey, he the Lord gonna give everything that that uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight chapter uh, from uh, from uh, uh, one on uh, or Salaki from uh, fifteen on down to what's that sixty eight? All that shit coming back on to all the heathens and especially Esau. Okay. First and foremost, Esau, you getting the brunt of it all. Okay. You're gonna eat all, you're gonna drink all the drinks of this shit, even though hey, we drink it, you know. But you're gonna you gonna get that drinks. All right. This is uh this is uh con, you know, I'm gonna eat on this one too. This is uh Deuteronomy uh 30 and 1. And it should come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. The blessings and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy power have to, have driven thee. So, so your Lord has said it. So we've been, and this is about to happen. This is still prophecy in Deuteronomy that ain't happened yet. Okay, there's prophecy here in Deuteronomy that ain't happened yet, and people can't understand and see that because all this shit that was put upon the Israelites is going to be put back upon all the nations. Okay, all the heathen nations. All right. Once again, chiefly Esau. All right. And uh, verse 32 of Salaki, verse two. And um, and shall return unto the Lord thy power, Yahweh, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thine heart, meaning mind and with all thy soul. Come. That then the Lord power, Yahweh, by Shema, Shai, will turn thy cap thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and a hey, this hasn't happened yet our captivity has not been turned back on to us it was turned on us from egypt but but this really this is us now because we waiting on the lord now to make this happen for us we wait this is what we're waiting on our next the, the so-called second exodus we waiting on the lord to come back and to take us out this hell to forgive us for our sins and to put and to put all these plagues back upon egypt Back upon Babylon, okay, Rome, the Greeks, okay. So like this Deuteronomy thirty and three, that then the Lord thy power Yahweh will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and return and gather thee from all the nations, okay. So when we was all in Egypt, you gotta understand, if this was talking about Egypt, when we was all in Egypt, every the whole nation was in Egypt, from the northern tribes to the southern tribes. We all were in Egypt together. The Lord brought us all out of Egypt. The Lord here says, then the Lord thy power, Yahweh, will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee 
and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord thy power, Yahweh, had scattered thee. Okay, that's here chiefly American all across the world, four corners of the earth. Okay, if any of thine be driven out unto the outermost parts of heaven, from thence will thy Lord, thy power, Yahweh, gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Okay, and the Lord, thy power, Yahweh, will bring thee unto the land which thy fathers possessed. So the Lord already said that, that we had already possessed that land. So here in Deuteronomy, this is future prophecy. So the, our fathers had already possessed that land. So the Lord got to take us back to that land. All right. Once again, if any of thine be driven out unto the outermost parts of the heavens, from thence will the Lord thy power, Yahweh, gather thee. From thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy power, Yahweh, will bring thee unto the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. And he and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. Come. Huh. All right. And the Lord thy power will, will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, outside thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. Okay. And the Lord thy power, Yahweh, will put all these curses upon thine enemy and upon them that hate thee, which persecute thee. Okay. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord thy power and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. All right. So that's man. Hey, so that's that's it. So that's what we waiting on. We waiting on the Lord to do what? To put all these curses back on Esau. And the heathen nations, all right. Well, we wait for Obadiah to happen, okay. We wait for these things to come to pass, man. We wait for Joel to happen, okay. The Valley of Jehoshaphat. We waiting for these things to come to pass. We waiting for Ezekiel the twenty five to happen, okay. We waiting. We're waiting for the Lord to to uh, uh uh bring you heathens down to your fucking knees, all right. And He gonna do it, all right. This is uh, I got uh, about three more scriptures, and I'm gonna close up. Right quick, this is um let me get this one just 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 so I can keep edifying because I um because a lot uh, uh let me see this is um con this is Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Sierra and prophesy against it. And that's what we're doing, man. That's what we're doing right now, right here, right now. This is prophecy against you, Edomites, man. Against the house of Esau, against Mount Seir. All right, we, we're prophesying. We're doing the Lord's bidding. We're doing what the Lord has commanded us to do, man. And we're prophesying against you. Okay? And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord power Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Okay? I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord power Yahweh. Okay? Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. A perpetual hatred. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by, by the force of the sword. In the time of their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Because that's true. Because hey, when we was brought out of slavery in America... And, and and it was that that was supposed to be the end of Esau's foot on our neck. Esau was supposed to let us go. He was supposed to return unto us our goods and return us back to our land. He didn't do that. He kept us here in this land captive and still kept his foot on our necks. OK, he still oppresses us. OK, you can't get a job. If you get a job, you got to kiss and suck ass. You don't kiss and suck ass enough. You get fired. You're going from job to job, house to house. You know, you, you, uh, uh, this is not your rest, man. Why? Because the land that you they're in is polluted. OK. All right. This land is, and this land is polluted, man. So this is not our rest. So but this devil has kept his foot on our necks for, you know, we got transferred from once from uh, private ownership in slavery. They call it what's that Juneteenth from the private ownership of slavery of the south to road into the government slavery of the north 
All right, the, the, the United, United States government has owned, it owns us as slaves. Uh, 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 when you go back and read, I was reading on, uh, on uh, uh, um, most of my men just died, Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron just died and he went through hell because he broke Babe Ruth's uh, uh, home run record, right? He went, he broke like 755 home runs, something like that. Babe Ruth only hit like 714 or something like that. But anyway, the point being is that in his bio, you read it, you look it up, and it says uh, when they sold, when when they sold uh, uh, Hank Aaron's contract. Okay, this is how you know you're still in slavery. Okay, when they sold Hank, it's just, you can look it up on Google, Google Hank Aaron, Wikipedia, and it'll tell you about his contracts that he had. His baseball contract got sold to the Braves. Okay, when when they sold him to the Braves, they called him property. Okay. They didn't call him a man being, you know, a man's contract was sold to. No, they said uh, Hank Aaron was the property of the Braves. OK, you are property. That means somebody owns your ass. OK, you still a fucking slave. OK, and you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans in America think you motherfuckers is free. Like that lady just got through saying, oh, but this is the most fierce place. And the other said, no, this is the most oppressive place because it's true. It's oppression. You have. Kept your foot on our necks, literally. Hell, they literally killed the man with they with their knee on their neck. They use they use a police force against you. The government is against you. Everything here is fucking against you. You just can't see. The only reason why Esau don't fuck with everybody is because the rest of you so-called Negro Latino Native Americans are still fucking sleeping. And you can't see it. So who are they fucking with? They fucking with the man of the Lord. Why? Because we see it. Because we push out the truth. See, we 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 lifting up the skirt through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We come out, do these videos, and we telling the devil who he is. Hey, that you the fucking devil, man. You are the fucking devil, man. Whether you like it or not, you are the fucking devil, man. And we know who you are, motherfucker. Come on and get, get the shit done, because we just, we, we, we ready, man. We, we want the shit to pop, bro. I'm ready for the Lord to come back, man, because you deserve everything you about to get, bro. All right? Let, let your shit come upon your own head, man. Let all your wickedness, all every fucking thing you ever done, man. It's going to come back to you, man. You know, and I'm going to get Psalms 50 chapter before I close out. All right. You know. All right. But this is verse five. Uh, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that iniquity had an end. And that was coming out of slavery. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee sit if thou uh uh sit since thou has not hated blood okay since thou have not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee thus will i make mount sierra most desolate and mount sierra's esau edom okay which you call today the so-called white man okay Thus will I make Mount Sierra most desolate and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that runneth, that returneth. It's locking. Okay. All right. Now let me go here. I said my last chapter I want to bring out is uh, Psalms uh, 50 chapter. So let me, uh, that's going to be my last one. I'm going to hit Psalms 50 and I'm just like we're by round 20. Uh, about 16 or things about 16. Why well, I mean but, but uh let me pull this up right quick. All right. Um I hit that, I hit that, I hit that, I hit that. Bam. Hit Ezekiel. Come. On. All right, all right. Now this is Psalms uh 137. I'm I'm a, cause it's not a very long chapter, but I'm gonna read the whole thing because it's you know it's a heavy chapter as well. This is Psalms 137. Okay, by the rivers of Babylon, okay. There we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We we hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For they that for there they that carried us away captive. And who carried us away captive? When was we carried away on ships? Okay. All right. Transatlantic slave train. All right. <clears throat> uh for there. They that carried us away captive 
required of us a song. And you all kind of old movies, you go, they they be like, uh, won't y'all sing us one of those uh Negro Negro spiritual songs? Won't y'all sing something for us? You had to be happy, you had to clap and dance, cluck and buck. You had to do all kind of shit for the so-called white man, man. The devil made you do all kind of dirty, filthy shit for his entertainment. And you think it's still entertaining, still to this day. And if you switch your team, uh, uh, like LeBron James, if you switch your team, they burn your fucking jacket, your, your jackets, your sweaters, your shoes. They fucking hate you, man. You know, you leave for one city. Oh, you motherfucker, I'll fucking kill you. You know, they want to fucking hang your ass, man. You know, why? Because you're that what? Because when go back to Hank Aaron, when you read it, you're that property, motherfucker. You ain't nothing but a paid slave, a high paid slave, a high class paid slave that's made to feel like he's free, but you ain't shit. All right. For there, they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us, wasted us, okay, required of us mirth, saying, sing us one of them songs of Zion, one of those nigga spirituals. You can watch many old movies that Esau told on themselves when they say that in the movies. Won't y'all sing us a song? I mean, what, what did that one bitch say? Uh, Paula Du, pa, pa, what was her name? Paula Du, Paula Du, something? Paul or something. She's a cook. Uh, yeah, old uh, gray haired in my bitch. Uh, yeah, I, I want to go back to the fifties. I want. Oh no, she said to the. I mean, sorry, to the eighteen hundreds, where uh, where uh, where uh, we had uh, we had uh, uh, black people dressed up, dressed up and serving us. Yeah, they want to go back to slavery in the time when we was a uh, hardcore uh, physical slavery, physical labor slavery, meaning no pay wages, working for free. Working for to to, to uh, have maybe a little baby hut, uh, mud hut in the back of a, of of masses, uh, mass master uh, masculating uh, uh, kingdom, uh, fucking castle. Okay. All right. This is verse four. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Is not America a strange land? We ain't originally from here. This shit is fucking strange. We speak a strange language. Hell, I can't even speak the fuck English properly. And I've been speaking this shit for over 40 some years. <laughs> okay. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Okay. Now, this is the point. Verse seven. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day. Okay. In the day. Of Jerusalem, who said, "Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof." O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou has served us. Okay, happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Okay, because when you go back. When you go back into uh, history, they was killing our, our children, feeding them alligator bait, taking them outside, uh, busting their heads open on stones, uh, cutting our women, hanging our women upside down, cutting the babies out of their stomachs and shit. Especially over in in, in uh, uh, with the Northern Tribe, they was doing a lot of that shit, man. Even uh, Oliver Cromwell was doing that shit when he was coming out of Europe. Hey, man, they had done some dirty shit, man. They have done some filthy, vile shit, and they cavalier about it all, man. They don't give a fuck. They cavalier about it. All they sit small in your face, smirk at you and shit. Like it's all good, bitch. It ain't all good. I know it ain't all good. But when it's all good, it's, it's going to be all good when Lord Yahweh about Shima Shai come back. But we're going to keep telling you who you are. And we don't give a fuck in your face. We're going to let you know who you are. Okay? We know who you are. Just because these, these foolish ass niggas who's sleeping don't understand and know who you are. Or they're too afraid of too chicken shit to stand up for the rights of their own people or two chicken shit to stand up for the rights of the Lord. You how about she now shot? We're going to push and we're going to teach because what 7,000 men has not bowed the knee to bow. 144,000 men is not going to bow the knee to bow. Man, we're going to stand in a righteous to stand in great boldness, man, in the face of his oppressors, man. And we're going to fucking tell you who the fuck you are and tell you just like that in your fucking face. You fucking devil. We don't give a fuck, man. That time for giving a fuck is over. You understand? It's the spirit of the Lord is out here, man. Yahweh by Shimao Shai is running through this motherfucker. He gonna run through your fucking asses. All right. 
All right, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a, I'm going to close out. No, no, I got to do uh, Psalms 50 chapter. Uh, uh, right here, this is a, uh, this is Psalms uh, 149. Okay. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei Shai. Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh, a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. And that's what we're doing. We're singing this song, man. we praising Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, man. The congregation of the saints, we, we screaming to Yahweh, by Shimei Shai. Okay. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Come. Huh? Let them praise his name in a dance. Let them sing praises unto them with the tremble and harp. See, that's what Esau want to be our king. He want us to, to praise him and dance to him while he got us under perpetual hatred. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, bloodletting us and shit, our babies and shit, doing all kind of evil, wicked shit. All right. Verse four, for the Lord, Yahweh will take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Okay, the Lord said he gonna lay this shit upon all the heathen. All right, upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains, okay? You do Ponce Gettys, build the birds, okay? And so forth and so on. And their nobles with feathers of iron to execute upon them, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise you the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shah. You understand? Call Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shah by Shimei Kakudash. Okay, so all praise on the glory be to you, by Shimei Shah, for all the for for everything that is all the judgments that's been written upon Esau, upon the heathen nations, because you're gonna bow to us, you're gonna sit and you're gonna eat shit, you're gonna eat mud, you're gonna sleep in the pit. We're gonna give you back double what you have given us. Okay. All right, this is my last scripture right here. All right. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is Psalms uh, fifty and sixteen. Okay. Psalms fifty and sixteen. But unto the wicked. Okay. God, you okay. Psalm 15 and 16. And if you want to know who the wicked is, you go to Malachi 1. Uh, uh, Malachi, the first chapter, uh, 1 through 5 or 4 or maybe 8. But uh, but unto the wicked, Yahweh saith, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? All this bullshit Christian churches and shit. Talking about, oh, Jesus love, Jesus saves there, God loves everybody. No, nah, man, the Lord don't, no, nah, don't, Lord don't get down like that. You ain't read the scriptures the right way. You ain't got the right true understanding of what the Lord is saying. Hey, the Lord don't change. All right. The Lord is the same. Yes, that Yahweh Shah is the same yesterday, today, and, and uh tomorrow. Yahweh don't change. Okay. Ain't no changing in the Lord. All right. So what was said is gonna was what's gonna be done. All right. Verse 16 again, but unto the wicked. Yahweh saith, what has thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and and uh, casteth away casteth, and casteth my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou contendest with him and has been partakers with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue fame of deceit thou sitteth and speaketh against the against thy brother thou slanders thy own mother's son and that's Esau and Jacob okay these things has thou done and I kept silent 
all this time, Yahweh Bashim al Shah has been silent, man. He ain't came down to spoke. He ain't came down off that or uh, 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 out of the uh, out of out of the heavens yet. But he's on his way, and you know he's on his way. That's why y'all got that space force going, because y'all know Yahweh Bashim al Shah is on his way, man. Hey, the brother, uh, the elder brother, uh, elder brother, uh, um, Gabar Yahweh. Um, if I'm not saying his name wrong from uh, GMS, hey, that brother did a video about uh about uh, uh that dude Austin uh Dallas Austin or Austin Dallas, the uh producer from the '80s, from back in the day, from the uh from the uh '90s, from the '90s era. All right, but he was saying that uh uh oh boy uh uh, uh the P Funk band um damn um. I know it's the, his name just slipped my mind because I'm into my, my head is on the scriptures. But everybody know what I'm talking about. Uh uh George, uh the P Funk band, he was telling them, he was telling a bunch of them, like, hey, look, hey, uh, they about to the Illuminati about to put all this shit out about the uh they about to take the checks away. They about to give y'all visa like little cars with where they could be checking account cards. He was putting them up on game on everything that we that happened now that we have now that we use the technology. He was putting them up on that shit. George Funk, George Funk, the Funkadelics. He was putting them all up on that shit, man. All right. And he, then they were sitting outside. They seen UFOs. He said they had set up and looked up in the air. They seen UFOs hovering over top of where they was at, man. You know, hey, man, because East, and they said that Esau, every time they hear somebody say something about anything about Space Force, they would send, they would send uh, an Edomite uh, because they knew they would be so fucking high that they wouldn't even know who was around them or the people that they had with them because they was on all them drugs. They would be so zonked out that they look up like, wait, who the fuck is that guy? You know, here, here they done, done done 50 shows, and now they finally noticing that, hey, well, this motherfucker don't belong. Who the fuck is that? And they be been watching them and shit, trying to see what they talking about and shit. All right? Because Esau knows what? Because Esau know that Yahweh Bashim al-Shai is coming, man. He know, and he know his people are connected to him. Even these wicked-ass niggas, they connected to him. Because when they get into that, that herb smoking and shit and all them different drugs, them psychedelics and shit, they start... Tapping into the spirit world, man. They do it in wickedness, but they start getting visions. They start getting understanding of certain things. And Esau know that shit. Esau know that we are we are a holy people. All right. That that you are a, a, a peculiar people. We're very peculiar, man. Okay. You are a, a, a royal priesthood. All right. You've been chosen by you. How about Shem I was shot? Even you two-third niggas, but y'all gotta know a death after pain. All right. So this shit has been out here about what about what's going on in the world, man. All this shit with these uh, uh and then too, and, and my man was like, hey, he asked, uh, I had watched the video, uh, the Austin Dallas guy. He asked, he say, uh, he said, hey, yeah, hey, what y'all think about the coronavirus shot? Ah, uh, damn, slacky. That's that was the, the that was it. That's the rhythm. They gonna strike the video. All right, but uh, but he said, what what y'all know about the uh, you know, about the jab and stab. And he was like, yeah, I ain't taking that shit. You taking that shit? Nah, I ain't taking that shit. Shit, not me. Hey, hey, cause Jake know, man. Hey, it's Jake. Hey, it's Jake's out there in e that's that's out there in the industry. And they play that role, they go along. But hey, it's certain things they not gonna want to do, man. They not gonna want to do that shit because they know what it is, man. They he's like, I ain't taking that shit. Hey, they already know they don't want to take it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so back to these scriptures. All right, uh, this is my last scripture. I'm gonna end off right here. All right. This is uh, Psalms 50 and 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such and one as thyself. Right, because they turned the Lord into looking like a so-called white man, blonde hair, blue eyes. And you know what I mean? They, they gave these lies until they people make them think that the Lord is them. But when you read the Bible, you learn that the Lord is a dark skin with woolly hair, Red eyes, okay, with uh, skin is 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 dark as uh, but burnt in the fire, okay, with a uh, deep dark brass skin, uh, bronze skin, color of bronze, color of, of dark brass is burnt in the oven, okay. He's not he's not a he's not a uncooked. He's not pale and pink, okay. Because when you look at your skin, a lot of y'all are red as fuck to a a a, a dark dark red. To a fucking light, light pink red, un, un, uh, uncooked red. All right. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Thou, 
um, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. And this is us being set in order. We being set in order because why? We pulling out these scriptures. How about Shemel Shah? We under the orders of your how about by Shemel Shah coming down through the apostle elder great millstones. Hey Amen. We pushing this truth. We teaching it, and and we gonna continue until either we either either the Lord take us out of this bitch or the Lord come and get us out of this bitch. Whichever way it go, whatever way the Lord feels uh, feels fit to do it. Hey, we rolling with it. All right. Verse twenty two. Now consider this, ye that for ye that forget Yahweh, least I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. That's it. Ain't nobody going to gonna deliver you out of the hands of your how about Shimei Shai, man? Okay. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I show the salvation of your how about Shimei Shai. And the only people that can offer that aright is who? Is the Israelites, man. All right. The Lord already said that you Edomites is going to be cut off, Obadiah. I already said you are going to be cut off. There is no more. You will be a waste. You will be a desolation. You'll be desolate. There's no forgiveness to the house of Edom. Okay. The other heathen nations, they're going to beg and they're going to grovel and they're going to get they're going to get theirs too, but they still going to be here. But Edom, you're going to get cut the fuck off. All right. You're going to get cut the fuck off, man. All right. So I'm going to end this. Um, I'm gonna end this right here with this. <clears throat> I already read it before, but I'm I'm just just I just love love the way this comes out. All right. This is uh this is Obadiah uh ten. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off for ever. Okay. For ever. All right. Hey, with that said, I want to say call Lord Yahweh by Shimi Al Shah by Shimra Kakudash. A double honor to the Apostle Elders Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace that taste to all your occupants in the four corners of the earth. Hey, I'm Yaqua from Wild So. Yahweh Shah sanctified ones come and teach it to you uh, today, you're bringing this good news and bringing this uh, bad news to Edomites and bringing this good news until you are uh, Israelites. Whether if you understand it or not, believe it or not, hey, we'll bring you this news and let you know uh, what's really about to go down. So, hey, with that said, hey, uh, Quan by Wild Dabba Da, keep standing, keep pushing, keep striving, man. We almost out of here. This shit is coming to a close. Hey, Esau uh, is going to get what he deserves and all the heathen nations, you know, all this cavalier shit. All this smirking and smiling shit, that smile is going to be turned upside down into a frown. They're going to be smoked. You know, they're going to get their ass smoked. You know, and they don't understand what's coming, but we know what's coming. That's why we got all them UFOs everywhere. You know, all them uh, chariots uh, lurking around. Hey, the Lord is ready to get back, come back and uh, tear some shit up. So we just going to keep pushing the teaching, man. And I'm, once again, I'm Yaqua from Wild Soul. How shall I say the five ones? And Shalom. And a barber ball. <laughs>